Hey guys, it's Key and it's Key Life Trading. So thanks for tuning in to another a video. So today we're gonna have a quick discussion. I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. I just wanna ask a question, right? What do you guys prefer to use? Do you guys use the hard stop or the mental stop when you're trading, right? So I asked a couple of people in my chat room that I use and here's what they say, right? So. As a viewer, I want to know your opinion. Do you guys prefer the hard stop or you guys prefer mental? So put in the comment section below so I can know what you guys prefer. Do you guys use both of them or you guys just use one of them based on the trade, how you guys are feeling? Let me know. I'm trying to grow myself to be very disciplined and my discipline part of my trading, it sucks. It's garbage. I realized that and as a trader, as a good trader, you know your strength and weaknesses and for you to be best or be the best you can, once you realize what your weakness is, you should always try to work on it, right? And I realized, okay, for me to be the best or one of the best and to help grow my account, I need to be disciplined. And no matter how profitable you are, if you're not disciplined as a trader, it doesn't matter if you make a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, a hundred, five dollars, you're gonna always lose it because you're not that disciplined to keep the profit at a, a maximum and keep your loss as at, at a minimum. And that's my issue, right? So this is why one of my weakness is getting out when I need to get out. So I set my stop mentally and then I say, okay, I'm gonna get out at four, price touch four and kept going down. And I'm hoping, wishing like, oh, is it gonna bounce? Is it gonna, I hope it bounce. No. And then you end up in a trade that's keep going down and your, your, your account size is just going lower and lower. I'm not trying to play those games because if you consistently do that, or if I consistently do that, there's no room for growth because you make a hundred and you lose a hundred. And sometimes you make a hundred and you lose 150. So you're going backwards and I'm tired of being in that space. So I'm being very disciplined and hard on myself. So these are the, the precaution I'm taking to get out that space. So right now I'm using hard stops to get me out of trades. There is some downfall or cons to using hard stop. The one of them is that once you put your hard stop, everyone can see your position where you're trying to sell. So all the algos and all the institutional traders and all that, they can see it and then they can come down and guess what they do? Stop hunt. They take you out your position and guess what happened? It goes back up. And those are very annoying. I hate those. I dislike those. Let's, let's use like, let's use that word. I dislike the stop hunting. And this one of the thing I'm trying to, you know, cope with because, because I'm not mentally disciplined when it comes to getting out of my trades, when it's a losing trade, I have to use it and I have to suck it up because I'm not disciplined enough to use a mental stop. And the, not, the other con to it is that sometimes when well, you might stop, um, set your stop and then price skip past it because how volatile the move is, it just skip past your, your stop, your stop order, your hard stop. And you can still also be in a bad situation. So it's two, it's, it goes hand to hand. So I'm trying to get to the space where I'm mentally um, prepared and able to use mental stops. And I feel like as a trader, I feel like that would be beneficial for me, right? So recently I've been used to my hard stop and I've been trying to get comfortable with, you know, saying, okay, if you're gonna get out at four, get out at four, right? So there's, mu there's multiple different things that you need discipline for. Recently, which I have been doing very well is trading um, at a minimum, because I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I've been over trading very frequently recently and I started to be more disciplined to slow down with my over trade, my over trading. And what else there is, what else I'm not good at discipline wise, knowing when to get up. So I try to set a time period. Now I set my time period from 930 to 11 to 1130 to get up. And recently I've been doing very well. So even if I get a trade or not, right and get, I'm getting out. I'm getting up from the um, computer. I'm moving on and enjoying the rest of the day, right? And the next one, I think there's one more. The next one is not taking bad trades. If I don't see a setup, don't take the trade, right? 
And it's like, you can be consistent in this market, especially when you're picking the right stocks. But if you're consistently not disciplined and you consistently, um, you're making money, but the discipline part is not structured, it's going to seem like you're not consistent. And you're going to be like, why am I always losing the profit I made yesterday? And it's like, ding, ding, ding. You're not disciplined enough. You're losing more than you're winning. When I say losing more than you're winning, I mean like profit wise. So you're winning four out of five times, but that one time you're losing all your profit or you're winning three out of the two times. I mean, three, three out of the five times, sorry, the two times you're taking out all the profit. So that's what I mean. So I'm on that road. I'm on that path to getting better. And I feel like once I can tighten up my discipline, I will be great. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Do all the YouTube stuff. Please like, subscribe to the channel. It's Key Life Trading. Peace.